Uh, welcome to tonight's um, webinar uh, series uh, of Online Dojo. This is the webinar series of Pinoy Home-Based Mastermind. Let me put my screen on ano, full. Ayan. So this is the Online Dojo, guys. I think you know what this is. Kung din your first time, uh, uh, just a few things. Um, this is a recorded um, webinar. So kung... Gusto nyo balikan later or may friend kayo na hindi naka-attend or for whatever purposes, yes, may playback po. Um, you will also get a copy of the presentation deck um, after the webinar. Uh, the same presentation that um, Liberty will use later. Yes, there will be a Q&A and feel free to type your questions in the chat box um, anytime. You may also raise your hand uh, kung may tanong kayo. But uh, yung Q&A will do that. Uh, at the later part na. Um, all throughout the webinar, we may look at your questions. Uh, pero um, later, kung gusto nyo magtanong ng may audio, you should raise your hand. Okay. So, uh, this um, webinar series is brought to you by Pinoy Home-Based Mastermind. We are a uh, community on Facebook and we are dedicated to helping Pinoy's make a living online. And um, some of the contents that we create, are for blogging, online freelancing, and online shops. Although, lately, nakafocus po muna kami sa online freelancing and work from home kasi yun yung mas maraming tao kasi na parang yun yung gusto na malaman. But um, please uh, stay tuned lang because we'll also have content for bloggers and uh, sa mga gustong mag-e-commerce, uh, gusto magkaroon ng online shops. We have, um, yun, may content kami, may files po kami. Just like this, may webinars kami, Facebook Lives, and seminars. Uh, speaking of seminars, we have been to four places in the Philippines. Ang saya. Talagang galak po kami. <laughs> um, Fairview, Quezon City, Alabang, Munting Lupa, uh, Cavite, and uh, lastly, bakit para ako tumakanta dyan, Marikina. So, um, again, in November, we will be visiting Laguna and Batangas. So, guys, if you're in the area or kaya niyong gumiyahe doon, please, 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 uh, umaten kayo. Um, ito po mga seminar na to is to help you guys uh, start your own home-based careers. Okay. So, the online dojo. Pwede again, sumama sa Batangas. Pwede. Sumama tayong lahat. <laughs> pwede yan. Bahala. Uh, okay. Paano to? Um, um, so, this online dojo is uh, it's a series of webinar and we pick one topic per month, which yung, yung one topic na yun, we have two to three, actually webinar and the seminar, two to three webinars a, mo a month for that topic from people with proven track record of success only to give you value, no fluff, no muff, and no, I know, uh, Ano ba? No hangin. <laughs> we just want to give you value. Uh -huh. want to give you guys yung skill at kung paano gawin to from people na uh, may verified uh, track record. Okay. So, speaking of uh, track records, um, our sp uh, speaker is at 52. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Nili ko pa kaseryoso ako eh. At 52, she is not your typical granny. Um, she envisions a future, parang, parang pageant eh. She envisions a future where people <laughs> aged 50 and above are employed and financially independent to save for their retirement and face old age with self-respect and dignity. She has been featured in TV Patrol and in the August 2017 issue of Good Housekeeping. Yes, ito po yung ebidensya. <laughs> from Good Housekeeping. Uh, ang youthful granny ng freelancers ng Pilipinas, Liberty Paldubino. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. May palakpakan pa pala. Na. Oh, may palakpakan ako. So, uh, pero on the serious note, guys, you all know that I am a very good friend of the Liberty. Uh, she's been uh, a freelance for almost six years na ba? Over six yes. years. Over six years. Um, she's been writing optimized web content, articles, blog posts, a phenomenal writer. She does copies for local and foreign clients. Um, she is also an editor of a Detroit-based car wash car wash franchise and a California-based health and wellness business. Um, 
Miss Liberty, I believe that in freelancing, learning should be non-stop. And it's also one of the things that we guys want to impart to you, hindi lang yung skill, but also yung um, mga tips from these kind of people who's, you know, who's, who's making it. And she is offering tips and advices to fellow or aspiring freelancers through her personal blog, theyouthfulgrannyva.com. Guys, check it out kung gusto nyo matuto. Hindi lang pong writers yun. For everyone who starts, uh, who wants to uh, be a freelancer and work from home, check out her blog. Uh, she is also a former coach to a journalism grade school students who competed in yung national and regional competitions for journalism. At nanalo po sila. Hindi lang nag-compete, nanalo pa. Okay? So, learn from someone like that. <laughs> Ganun. Um, <laughs> before before I, uh, I give the stage to Liberty, I think one of the reasons why, and I'm not smooching up to Liberty, I've always done, <laughs> pagod na po kami. <laughs> um, <clears throat> but um, one of the reasons, guys, and if this is your first time to be in a webinar or an interview with Liberty, one of the reasons why we like um, giving her the spotlight is because she's very inspiring. Uh, Liberty is 52 years old. So, siya po yung mga nanay natin na hindi techie. She started for, when she was 47 years old. Hindi po siya magaling sa computer nung time na yon. And she was able to create a career for herself and earn more than a CEO. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and this is a good quote from the famous Anna, line. The famous line. She earns more than a CEO now. Um, this is a good quote. Uh, kung kayo ay nag-uumpisa pa lang, nahihirapan kayong maghanap ng trabaho, ng work from home or or, or mag-start ng freelance career nyo. Freelancing, guys, is a great equalizer. It levels the playing field in a multitude of ways, disability, age, education, Walang barriers. There, there are no barriers except for those that you put up for yourself. This is actually a quote from Miss from Tita Lenny. Ka age ko yan. Oh, I, I really like how she said that. Hindi hindi yung kailangan maging bata pa, hindi yung kailangan maging magaling, hindi nga kailangan ano eh graduate, hindi nga kailangan master lang ang tinapos mo eh. Basa basa magtataga ka, kaya mo tong gawin. So yun lang guys ang gusto namin. Um, tandaan natin lahat. And so, let me stop, ano, ano ba to? Stop sharing. And uh, let's give the stage to uh, Miss Liberty. Hi, everyone. Good evening po. Yan. Nasa na ba yung, yan, nawawala yung ano ko. Wait. Ano nga ba natin nakita yung ano? Sandali lang po view. ah. View. Uh, ito na nga, view. Full screen. Yan. Pinaganda Good evening, talaga everyone. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. I'm Liberty Baldovino, your youthful granny. Uh, nakumbinsi po ako ni Altea for the same reasons as Iyas or si Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, sinuhulan niya po kami ng cookies and mind you, her cookies are to die for. <laughs> Talagang, pag, pag, pag sinabi niya, ano, cookies na lang. O sige, o payag naman kami para kami mga uto-uto. Sige, okay, go. O, sige. Kailan ba yan? <laughs> <laughs> Natanggap na nila yung sa kanila eh. <laughs> o, oh, sisirain na schedule para sa cookies. Isang na lang naman. <laughs> okay. So, without further ado, um, my goal here for tonight, my goal for you, my, my, my wish for you tonight, for you guys, is to learn, somehow learn about SEO copywriting. So, um, marami, ng, marami na siguro nakakaalam kung ano yung SEO. I, 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 I advise Thea to let you know that you have to watch uh, City Kids SEO webinar. Did you? Yes. Yeah. Kasi uh, I will be mentioning lang yung SEO Kasi uh, it will take up so much of our time if I'm going to um, discuss SEO um, in detail. Mm -mm. Kasi useless pa te, dahil na-discuss na ni Sirikit. Mm -mm. Tsaka maganda talaga yun kasi si Sirikit talaga, talagang ano yan, SEO expert yan. Hands down. <laughs> okay. So, without further ado, let's uh, dive 
deep into SEO copywriting. 101 lang po ito ha. In other words, ito po ay for beginners lamang. So, if you're already a writer or you already know how to do SEO copywriting, this um, webinar is not for you. Doon ka sa masterclass ko. Marapit ko nang i-announce. <laughs> okay. So, Abangan. what is SEO copywriting? Abangan nyo yun, ha? What is SEO copywriting? Um, simply put, SEO copywriting is a specialized form of online writing created for specific purposes like pitching a brand or selling products or services. In other words, mas simple pa, Tagalog. Para mas maintindihan. Ang SEO copywriting, hindi yung katulad ng ibang online writing ginagawa natin. Blogs or articles, mga ganun. Hindi siya ganun lang. Okay? Optimize siya na hindi lang din basta optimize, kundi ang kanyang, um, ang kanyang purpose ay talagang makabenta or makabenta siya or merong kang merong ipapagawa sa iyo yung writer. Maraming kayo nakikita niyan, yung mga landing pages ng mga pag nag-click kayo sa Facebook ng mga ads. Tapos lalabas yung halimbawa yung landing page ng isang website, so, makikita nyo, basa ang haba, di ba? Ang haba ng binabasa nyo. Tapos towards the end, merong button na um, click here to learn more about this product or uh, subscribe yung mga bota na yun. yun, yung copy na yun, yung sinusulat ng mga writers na yun, na kung minsan detailed, kung minsan naman short lang, yun ang tinatawag na SEO copy or copy or copy lang. Ganyan. Ngayon, bakit ba kailangan ng, bakit pa nagkaroon ng SEO copywriting? Let's say magaling ka ng copywriter. Magaling ka na. But then you have to understand na sa Google, hindi lang galing ang kailangan mo. Alright? Kailangan mo rin na hindi ka lang basta magaling para sa readers, magaling ka rin sa search engines. Kailangan alam mo kung paano hilutin si Google, si Bing, at kung ano pa yung search engines dyan. And it all starts with SEO. Okay. Hindi ito po yung, hindi po ito yung SEO nung panahon namin na uh, sa 500 words, kailangan mong ulitin yung keyword ng 10 times or 15 times hanggang yung article mo, puro keywords na lang. Hindi po ganon. Alright. So, next slide. Ngayon, why is it important? First, ha, kapag ginawa nyo ng tamang SEO copywriting, it can be your secret weapon. Bakit mo magiging secret weapon? First, kung newbie ka and you want to write uh, cover letter, You want to write your profile in a way na makaka-capture ka ng iyong um, prospective clients. Ito po ang pinakamagandang pag-aralan nyo. Kasi yung, yung, yung profile nyo, ma-optimize yun. Hindi lang within, hindi lang within dun sa platform na ginagalawan mo. Kapag may sarili kang website, makikita ka rin. Halimbawa, katulad ko, SEO copywriter. Halimbawa, um, gamitin ko yung SEO copywriter na keyword sa ano ko, sa profile ko. Lahat ng pag may nag-search ng SEO copywriter, lalabas ako. Okay? So, kailangan nito ng newbies at nung mga uh, semi-newbies na matagal na, ilang buwan na, ilang taon na, wala pa rin work, maybe it's time to revise your profile. Alright? And then, of course, ang SEO copywriting is a very cost-effective marketing tool. You know why? Uh, do you know that companies spend millions of pesos or dollars just to get their ads on television or radio? Um, samantalang, um, they, they only have to spend a fraction of that price kapag sa net sila nag-advertise. Okay, magkano lang ang bayad sa writer? Well, hindi ko sinasabing mura, ha? Pero... Um, in proportion to what they're paying to um, other media outlets like television and radio, napaka-fraction lang ng i-spend nila online. Tapos, ano pa, always available pa. Hindi, ka, hindi na sila magbabayad ulit ng katulad sa TV. Merong slots yan eh. Okay, merong slots yan ah. Ba? For a particular month, you're going to pay 1 million so that your ads will be shown during prime time, ganon, ganon. And of course, it's an organic traffic magnet. Ano yung organic na traffic magnet? Kapag ka-optimized yung page mo, hindi mo kailangang magbayad ng paid ads. Hindi mo kailangan ng ano. Kaya, um, 
uh, nakakamura ka, nakakatipid ka in the long run. Okay? Done right siya na kapag tama yung pagkakagawa mo ng SEO copywriting. <clears throat> Yan. Uh, meron pa palang ano dito. May, may ads sa pala si, ano dito, si Thea. Don't forget to watch. Yeah. Uh, when you go back, halimbawa, hindi nyo masyadong maintindihan yung terms. Kasi I won't be mentioning terms here dahil yun ay na-mention na ni Sirikit sa kanyang webby. Hindi na ako mag-mention. So, if uh, you didn't watch, you haven't watched it yet, uh, this um, webinars from um, Herlene, and Sirikit, I advise you to watch them because it will help you. It, those webinars will help you greatly uh, in understanding what SEO copywriting is. So, what is the definition of SEO? Merong definition si Iyas, pero ako, simple terms. Kasi, uh, remember, natuto ako ng computer, uh, 42. I started online freelancing 47. So, meron pa rin, hanggang ngayon, meron pa rin akong challenge sa pag hindi ng mga terms and definitions online. Alright? So, yung mga pag mga terms na medyo mga web devi na mga ganun-ganun, medyo kailangan ko ng i-research ng bongga-bongga. So, ako, for me, my definition of SEO is kung paano ka pupunta sa top page ng Google. Yun lang yun. Huwag nyo nang pahirapin. Okay, paano, paano ang, ang SEO sa akin eh, malagay ka sa top page ng search engines. Ganun lang kasimple yun. Okay, anong gagawin mo para ma, ano mo yun. And then, of course, I'm going to discuss keyword research and analysis. Mas detailed po ako mag-research ng keywords. Uh, hindi po ako gumagamit usually ng, um, you'll find out na I do not usually use Google Keyword Planner. And then, competitor analysis, on-page SEO. Ito mga na-discuss na, 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 na circuit yan. So, I advise na itong mga ito, hanapin nyo dun sa webinar niya. Alright? Kasi kakain tayo ng maraming oras. Kailangan nyo ng maraming paliwanagan. Okay. So, dito tayo. So, uh, Miss Liberty, ano na po eh? Ano ba yung, uh, marunong po ako ng copywriting? Eh, ano po ba yung, bakit may copyright, copywriter tapos merong SEO copywriter? Bakit ganun? This is the answer. There's a difference. A copywriter writes something that gets attention. Gagrab niya yung attention niya. Attention ng readers. Okay? Communicates. Nakocommunicate niya yung objectives or yung goals ng kanyang sinulat. And then persuades. Persuades, alam nyo naman yun, kumukumbinse na bumili or mag-react dun sa kung ano man yung copy na sinulat ng writer. And then, an SEO copywriter writes copies that, number one, parehas din, gets attention. Number two, communicates. Number three, persuades. And, but there's more. An SEO copywriter makes sure that these copies are optimized so they will be found by search engines and more importantly, the readers. Ganda nga ng copy mo. Well written nga ang copy mo. Nandun lahat ng sauce mo. Great headline, great body, great call to action. But then hindi ka mahanap sa web. So what's the use? Right? So kailangan, uh, may copy ka, may copy ka, meron kang gustong ibenta or meron kang gustong ipagawa sa reader, sa targeted audience, audience mo, kailangan makita ka muna nila. Mm -mm. Okay, so, there. I have a short activity. This I found from a book. I highly recommend you to read this book. It's a, uh, it's a very eye-opening experience. It, it, this, this activity came from the book Hypnotic Writing. I think it's by Bob Bly, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. First time kung na-encounter yung book, uh, shinare sa akin ni Carl Dexter. He's a very good copywriter, by the way. At siya yung nag-encourage akin na mag, ate, mag-copywriting ka kasi may connect ka sa tao. Yun ang sabi niya. And then also, I have to be thankful to John Pagulayan kasi uh, siya yung, nung nag-uusap uh, nag, 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 nag kami, specializing uh, drilling down to, to my skills, kung ano yung kaya ko talagang gawin, um, nag-research-research ako. Dati kasi writer lang ako, uh, SEO ako, writer ako. So, what makes me special? Nag-isip ako, and then ano, nag-research ako, ano bang tamang term dun sa ginagawa ko? All the while pala, ang ginagawa ko pala, 
is SEO copywriting na. Mm-hmm. Hindi ko alam. Ang, ang alam ko lang, SEO writer ako. Hindi ko alam na SEO copywriter pala ako. Ganon. Kaya John helped me distinguish that from what uh, for, for, uh, distinguish from what I am as an SEO writer to what I am now as an SEO copywriter. Kasi all along, with my eyes closed, I can do this. Mm-hmm. Sabi ko lang kayo dyan. Okay, so here's the activity. Look at the pen. Basically, it's a regular pen. It writes, and the tip of it is shown. Mas, mas maganda yung next slide kasi ito mismo yung, uh, ay, ito na ba? Pinalitan mo yung copy ng ano, pen pala. Okay, so it's a regular pen. It writes, and the tip of it, as shown, also has a massaging head on it. Meron siyang massager. Di ba yung iba, uh, eraser ang nakalagay sa taas? Ito, hindi. Ang nakalagay dito sa pen na to is a massaging head. So, sabi dito, press it against your skin and you get a massage. I know it isn't much to go on, but how would you write a paragraph to sell this pen? Um, sige nga, um, testing lang po. Sige nga, uh, try. Try lang. Kahit one sentence lang, paano nyo bebenta yung pen na to? Um... Type nga kayo ng sagot. Testing lang. Walang, walang hiya-hiya. Mm-mm. Hindi kayo matuto kapag hindi kayo nag-practice. It's one step to learning. You practice what you learn right away. Bo, nanonood ka ba masyado ng Wolf of Wall Street? <laughs> <laughs> um, yung hypnotic um, right. Uh, ano? Hypnotic writing, mami? Hypnotic that, writing. Is that from... It's, it's a book. Um, is that the one from Joe Vital? Vital ba pag... Ano nito? Ah, 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 ah. Yan. pala, Joe Vital pala. Hindi pala si Bob Lai. Yan. Sorry po, mali. Hindi, ginugod ko Ang dami nanonood. Ang dami nanonood. 92 ka. Kaya po, nagkamali ako. Ay, 94 na sila. <laughs> okay. Sinong nakagawa, Thea? One sentence lang. Kahit one sentence lang. So, so um, paragraph. So, buka natin to. Um, from, from Bo. Uh, you mm. need to write, this is a pen. <laughs> very, okay. I know, very Wolf of Wall Street to. I love ko to. From, um, I don't know, kasi yung username lang niya, Executive Virtual Assistant. A pen that writes Mm-mm. and massages your head. Okay. From Kev, uh, do you want to relax your muscles while writing? Uh, you wow, know. Oh, sige. Uh, okay. From, uh, uh, from, tama ba ito, mase? Mase ito, diba? Or mace? Um, mase. <laughs> mase. It penetrates the deepest mind. How oh, to penetrate? <laughs> <laughs> Na-arouse ako sa penetrate. Ayaw, oh my diba? God. <laughs> from, from. This, is, this is exciting, you know. <laughs> From uh, I love Asia, let your worries go away through a little massage from this pen. <laughs> oh, di ba? Oh. Oh, na-exercise ang inyong mga brain cells, di ba? Okay. <laughs> Ito ngayon, yung din sa book. Uh, can, if you can read it, pero I'm going to say it to you. Imagine you had a teensy wincy my shoes to carry around in your shirt pocket. Anytime you desired, you could order your mini shoes to soothe your tired muscles and rub away your tensions. Now imagine this tiny shoes had a pen sticking out of his head and ran on batteries. Well, you're not likely to come across a miniature pen-headed shoes, but here's the next best thing. Introducing the world's first massaging pen. Oh, di ba? May dating. May ano may... Kasi in the first place, one of the... One of the secrets in copywriting is the use of power words, which I will discuss later. Yung first thing. word pa niya, yung first word pa lang niya, first two words niya, nakakonect na agad sa, sa sayo. Imagine, at saka you. Imagine, binigyan ka na agad ng idea, binigyan, uh, uh, inopen na agad ng copywriter yung mind mo na mag-imagine kung meron kang pena ito. Anong mararamdaman mo? Anong, anong ma-feel mo kapag nasa iyo itong pena to? Yun ang trabaho ng copywriter. Kung paano maa-arouse yung emotions mo uh, they're dealing with your emotions. Kaya kapag may nababasa kayo na copies, na article, na parang, 
ang ganda-ganda na parang gusto mo alam mo naman di mo kailangan eh kailan, mm-hmm. kailangan kailangan mo bumili ng kailangan mo bumili ng ano ng ng waste na ano ano, ano yon yung meron ako nakikitang ano yung pampaliit ng waste kailangan mo ba talagang bumili eh alam mo namang hindi effective yon di ba wala namang wala naman talagang ko compare sa exercise and proper diet eh pero bakit naging mabenta yung belt na yun kasi ang galing ng copywriter noon binayaran talaga ng mahal yon bakit kasi magaling yung 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 twist ng words kayang-kaya niyang i-manipulate yung audience niya into feeling na kailangan niya ito kailangan niya itong product na ito yun ang magaling na copywriter. Look at John. If you have been subscribing to John's email, John Pagulayan's emails, at basahin mo yun, and Nix's emails, tingnan nyo yung ano, pagbasa mo pa lang, alam mong ikaw na yung ina-address, ikaw, hindi, although, although you know na it's, it's distributed um, by mass uh, means, di ba? Um, anong tawag yun, Thea? yung pag uh, na distribute yung oh, ano yun auto mm, mention mo yan sa akin dati sa emails kapag uh, yung nag-send na uh, automatic na magse-send sa maraming uh, audience although alam mong ganon pero pag binasa alam mong sinesend yun ni Jan sa 200 300 persons na naka-subscribe sa emails niya all right pero kapag binasa mo yung email niya, ikaw ang kinakausap niya eh. Sa iyo niya pinapatungkol yung yung copy niya. Hindi mo alam may budol-budol yun. <laughs> All right. So let's move on. Ah, uh, uh, natututo naman kayo. Ta- taas ng kamay, baka may hindi kayo natututo. Okay, okay taas sila. Ng kamay, buhay pa ba kayo? Okay kayo? Hindi pa kayo naiinit? Sabihin niyo na ako naiinit na kayo sa sayo kami ni Teya. Hindi oh. ako sama doon. <laughs> All right. So next. Now I want you to learn my process. Kasi maraming maraming um maraming writers diyan na nakasulat sa mga blog nila oh this uh this is how you should write. This is how you should write. Ganyan ganyan ganyan. Ito yung dapat mong gawin. Ito yung dapat na hindi mo gawin. Ako kasi ang ang writers kasi uh, I think some will agree with me but writers have different Um, writing processes. What works for you might not work for me and what works for me might not work for you. Mm-hmm. Diba? Okay. So, I have uh, my own process. Okay. So, ang process ko is this. Of course, kasi SEO copywriter ako and I understand the importance of keywords uh, when, uh, when it comes to article writing or blog writing or whatever writing I do. So I start everything with proper and thorough keyword research. And then I create a headline and then an outline and then I write a draft and then I edit and then I rewrite. Ayun. Ah, uh, himay-himayin natin 'to. All right. Sa keyword research as I told you, I do not use um Google Keyword Planner. Bakit? Kasi yung Google Keyword Planner kung gumagamit kayo Uh, before, years ago, siguro mga five or six years ago, yung Google Keyword Planner, binibigay pa niya yung, comp- yung talagang actual actual data. Na makikinabawa, nag-type ka ng keyword na yoga poses, lalabas talaga yung, yung um, competition at saka yung search, yung number of monthly searches for that particular keyword. Ngayon, hindi na nang binibigay. Hindi na inaano ni, ano, ni, ni Google. Kasi ang inaano niya, kailangan bumili ka muna sa kanila ng mag ng AdWords para ano yun na yun na ngayon ang ginagamit ang mine-measure lang ng Google Keyword Planner sa ngayon is talaga yung yung keywords mo na ginagamit sa AdWords mo okay so hindi ako gumagamit noon nga my best my three best tools for keyword research are Number one, spyfo.com to ensure my keywords will be better than those of my competitors. Number two, SEO Moss, Keyword Explorer for a more detailed search. I'll explain later. And then LSI Keyword Generator. All right. Am I going too fast or nakaka-follow naman kayo? Hello? Sinong merong hindi nakaka, ano? Okay naman po ako, Charot. Uh, Bo was asking if these tools are paid po, Mamu. No. Uh, these are... 
these are free. Of course, there are paid versions. Spyfu, mahalang Spyfu, and SEO Moss, mahal yan. Pero, yung Spyfu, parang you can do two searches a day. While SEO Moss, you'll be given parang um, 30 keywords to search for in a month for free. So I suggest before you before you look for ano you can use uh, another tool that I use kapag kahimbawa kailangan ko talaga yung hindi given ng client yung yung keyword uh -uh. Uh, ang ginagawa ko pinapasok ko muna siya sa keyword.io uh -uh. Mm, would you like me to type it for you or nakuha naman keyword.io kasi mag-generate siya ng iba-ibang keywords ang maganda sa kanya sa keyword.io kapag in-enter mo rin yung country na yung location kung saan mo gagamitin yung keyword na yun ba Philippines uh, and then I put the keyword for example uh, virtual assistant and then Philippines lalabas ngayon yung yung choices yung mga options ng keywords plus merong geographically uh, may, meron pang nakaano siya ng naka geo targeted na tinatawag wow. specific okay. location ganun yan ha very sa important. keyword search it's very important pag halimbawa kasi um, iba ang iba yung makukuha mong results or iba yung keywords na makukuha mo iba yung iba yung score na makukuha mo kung halimbawa gagamitin mo yung uh, virtual assistant in the USA mm -mm. kasi iba-iba yon so mm -mm. ganon so ay no muna ako ng tubig ha go actually I'm not drinking water I, I'm drinking you can see my screen. It's called Calamanchelo. It's a Calamansi wine. Yeah. Kasi I have to, ano, I have to kill my nerves. <laughs> Otherwise, I cannot do this webinar. <laughs> Calamansi wine. Right. Yeah, it's very, it's very good. It's, ano, you ask Lenny. She knows, uh, she has a friend who makes that. Pingi ako ba? Wala na ubos ng tabag mo tama dito. Alright. Okay na naman daw sila nakaka-follow sila mamo. Okay. So here's Spyfu. What I like about Spyfu is, yun na nga, I mentioned earlier, is that it gives me a peek dun sa competitors ng ng halimbawang client ko or my competitors. Um, as I mentioned earlier, I write for a health and well wellness website. I used to, pinatawang ko muna si client <laughs> kasi masyado na akong maraming ganap. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, um, ganito. Kapag nag-enter ka halimbawa ng keyword, in this case, uh, parang yung isa, parang, is, ito lang isa ang nilagay mo, Teya. Uh, maraming yun, ha? maraming keywords yun. Yan, yan lang, yung screenshots doon. Ay! Di, marami yan. Lah, okay, so sige. Let's make, oo, oh, oh, tatlo yun. Let's make do with this. I entered the keyword, in Spyfu, I entered the keyword, uh, yoga poses. Alright? Yoga poses. So, um, and then I entered, I, I, I entered yung pinaka nasa top, ambisyosa ako eh, yung pinaka top na competitor or yung pinaka nag-rank dito sa, sa keyword na to and it's yoga journal. Okay? Kita nyo naman dito sa, ito yung cursor ko, see this? 100% organic. Organic siya. Puro organic. Okay? Mm -hmm. Tapos ito, tingnan mo yung ano niya, yung monthly SEO clicks niya, 248K. 248,000. Ang organic na keywords niya ng site niya, puro organic. Wala siyang paid. As you can see here, wala siyang paid. Is 4,000 ang organic keywords niya. Alright? No wonder, nasa, nasa, first, nasa first page siya ni Google and nasa top place siya ni Google. Mm. Kita niyo yung ano. And also, it will give you, using Spyfu, gives you yung, yung socials niya. Facebook, Diba? Google Plus. Mm -mm. Yeah, tinibigay niya sa'yo. And, yes, and mo, most importantly, it gives you the site's top keywords. Okay. So, yan. Yoga poses. Yoga pose. Yan. Pwede mo ngayong uh, itweak or dagdagan para maging long tail keyword siya. 
yon Or at least, pwedeng pa nagsulat ka ng copy mo, magagamit mo rin yung yoke. Kasi, kasi it's important to mix, to have a mix of keywords. Hindi lang puro long tail. Dapat meron ka rin yung ganyan mga, hindi lang yung parang madaling mag-rank. Meron ka rin dapat difficult rank. Kasi itong keywords na to, lalo na yung yoga poses, medyo mahirap siya mag-rank. Kasi marami nang gumagamit sa kanya. So, using that will be, ano, uh, will be like committing suicide. <laughs> Kasi hindi ka makikita, hindi ka matagpuan sa Google. Okay. Right. Or sa search engines, for that matter. And then, Google Keyword Planner, kapag, ito lang naman, ginagamit ko lang siya, kapag, just to show you kung ano yan. Tingnan niyo yung ano niya, hindi siya talaga lumalabas kung ano yung, ano niya. Yung talagang date, yung correct data niya, hindi lumalabas. Puro ang lumalabas sa kanya is related keywords. Mm -mm. And then, eto ngayon, this is also a very interesting uh, keyword tool. It's called SEO Moss Keyword Explorer. So, kung yoga poses, papakita niya sa'yo ano yung monthly volume, ano yung difficulty niya. Ibig sabihin ng difficulty, gaano ka ka-difficult, gaano kahirap mag-rank for this keyword. Oh. So, you have 50-50, you have 49% chances na makita. And then, this is also the opportunity. Gano kalaki pa yung chances mo? Gano kalaking opportunity mo to rank for that keyword? 84% opportunity is very high. Ibig sabihin, konting-konti na lang, 16% na lang ang chance mo na makita itong, na, na, na lumaban itong keyword mo na ito. And when we're talking about Google, it's not, or Bing, or basta yung search engines, we're not talking of a couple of hundred posts. We're talking about millions of posts. So kung 84, kung 16% lang yung ano, uh, imagine kung gano'ng kaliit yung chance mo. Mm. Alright? And then yung, ayan, yung priority mo. Hindi <clears throat> ko na discuss Okay. So, ito pa. Ito ang importante dito. You'll be given keyword suggestions. Ang maganda rito, uh, meron ka ng long-term na key, long, long tail keywords dito. Yoga poses names, yoga poses for beginners. Mas targeted, di ba? Yoga poses, alam mong pang beginner. Yoga poses for back pain. Alam mong para sa mga taong may back pain. Yun naman ang kagandahan sa, sa long tail keywords kasi mas nata-target niya yung audience na kailangan nung keyword na yon na posibleng mag-search. And then, <clears throat> ang trabaho, no? Ang trabaho pala ng trabaho ko. Ganon. And then, when I have my keywords, I enter it to uh, um, LSI, LSI graph, LSI.graph, um, Papasok mo na dyan yung keywords mo, tapos lalabas yan. Meron ka mga keyword options. Some are outright uh, nonsensical. Kasi, katulad nito, how to play chaturanga. Ay, hindi mo naman kailangan to dun sa susulat mong yoga poses. What, whatever your topic will be, definitely, T-Rex hates chaturanga. Siyempre, nonsense naman yan. So, siyempre, hindi mo pipiliin yan. You only choose the ones that you think you deem will be fit for whatever article you're going to write. Mm -hmm. All right. <clears throat> May keyword na ako, halimbawa. Uh, so, halimbawa, yoga poses for weight loss. Na napili ko. Okay. So, now. Dito tayo ngayon sa madugong bahagi ng ano, ng pagsusulat. Um, an expert said that when you've done, when you've written the headline, a quality headline, a very good headline, um, You're done 80%. You've done 80% of your job, which is correct. Kahit sa journalism, ito rin talaga, headline. Because headline matters. No matter what generation we are in, no matter what, what gadget you're using, be it a laptop or a, gad, or, or a cell phone or a tablet or whatever, no? headline ang unang tinitingnan ng reader. And when you fail to connect, With your reader. When your reader doesn't find any value in your headline, eh, hindi ka nababasahin. Tandaan nyo yun. Mm -hmm. Okay? So, um, kahit pa, mm -hmm. kahit pa, at saka huwag kayo mag-headline ng pang-journalism, ha? Sa mga feature writing ng journalism kasi, yung mga ganun. Kasi, um, sa journalism, sa journalism kasi, sa feature writing, meron tinatawag na suspended interest. Yung suspended interest, hindi mo, yung, yung headline mo, very vague, tapos, uh, 
yung i-mention mo yung yung topic mo, ang dami ng introduction tapos yung pinaka topic mo towards the third paragraph or towards the end of the of the article mm-hmm. of the feature. Saka pa lang introduction topic mo. We don't we do not do that online. Kasi by the time na Maka first paragraph pa lang, iwanan ka lang ng reader mo dahil mm-hmm. hindi niya maintindihan ako ano yung pinagsasabi mo. At saka, We do not uh, ano mami, parang malapit siya sa ginagawa ng clickbait. Yes, exactly. Kaya hindi, you do not do that. If you're going to create a headline, create a, a headline that's compelling enough to be read and clicked by your target audience. All right. So first, first, before you create a headline, ask yourself. It's not given to you. Kasi minsan, katulad ko pagka yung mga, yung mga matagal ng writers, kung paasa yung client na alam na yung gagawin mo. Hello. Oo, ganun talaga. Merong bibigay sa'yo, merong client sa'yo. Isisend lang email. Please write about uh, yoga poses. Or please write about this. Walang writing guide. Walang keywords. Bahala ka sa buhay mo. Ganun. Tapos, eh, expect nila maganda yung copy. Basta ganun yun, ha? Ganun. So, uh, there. So, first thing, kung hindi binigay sa yung copy, i-assess mo, sino ba, para kanino ba tong copy na isusulat ko? Who is my customer? <clears throat> Alright? Why why should you know about this? Kasi, kat- alam mo yung customer mo, targeted, yung gagawin mo, yung language na gagamitin mo para dun sa yung yung style of writing na gagamitin mo, informal, conversational, formal or kung ano, targeted dun sa customer. Bawa ang target audience more executives. Hindi ka pwedeng gumamit ng slang. Hindi ba? Hmm. Pero kapag ang target customers mo, mga nanay, medyo conversational na medyo funny ang dating mo. So that's why it's very important to know who your customers are. And then next, tanongin mo rin paggagawa ka ng title. What are the important features of the product? Okay, not knowing the features of the product you are about to sell or the services you are about to sell is tantamount to a stranger talking to another stranger. Ano pag usapan niyo whether um the the reader wants to learn more. Um, unang unang salpak pa lang uh, ano pa lang headline pa lang kailangan ibanggit mo na sa kanya i-mention mo na or i ano mo na sa kanya iparamdam mo na sa kanya kung tungkol saan yung product na yon or services na yon and then next uh, another important consideration when you're going to create a headline is why will the customer want to buy the product or what product feature is most important to him okay bakit kanya kailangan bakit niya kailangang basahin yung article mo? Meron ba siyang mapapala? Ano bang ano bang ano bang benefit sa kanya? Ano ba yung pinaka-importante sa kanya? Okay? So, iyan yung important considerations. Ngayon, kung halimbawa, ito pang ano na to ha, pang yung medyo may experience na sa writing. Kasi as Ate uh, uh, mentioned uh, in her post, talagang kapag uh, ano, medyo advanced na to. Hindi ito pang beginner beginner talaga. Beginner in uh, SEO copywriting pwede pa. All right. You can also try kung wala ka talagang experience sa paggawa ng headlines. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Sorry po. You can also try using title generators like SEO Pressor. Enter mo lang yung um yung yung subject mo or yung yung keyword mo. And then, add something else, like, uh, um, lagyan mo siya ng filters or kung ano. Talabas na din yung mga titles na, yung halimbawa, um, um, yoga poses, uh, the benefits of yoga poses. Lalabas yung mga ganon, six reasons why you should do yoga poses. Mga ganon. Okay. Now, the danger in using SEO, SEO press or, or title generators is masyadong generalized. Or, siyempre, hindi naman um, tailor fit for for your keywords or your content. Minsan nag-run ako, tinest ko lang yung SEO presser. I enter the the keyword. Ano nga ba in-enter ko? I forgot. Um, um, halimbawa, uh, truck wash business. 
'di ba? Ah, uh, so inenter ko siya. Ang daming lalabas na na options. Kaso yung options niya, ano, nakakatawa yung iba. Oh, why I left my truck wash business or meron pa doon, why why truck wash business is a big liar. <laughs> Ganon. So, hindi siya useful yung iba. Kaya, ang inaano ko lang sa mga newbies, just so you can get the hang of it of how to create titles. But, I do not really recommend. Okay? Matagal kasi yung process ng pagsulat ng headline if it's not given to you. Okay. And the next, my writing process, uh, I create an outline which is very, very ano, important because uh, this is the framework of your article. This creates the bone of uh, the bones, the, the framework of what you're about to write. And then, so, um, I use a mind map. Meron akong mind map kasi maaano yung ano ko. Uh, take away. Escape natin to. I think I, I, I did create one mind map here. I use MindMeister kasi ano, free siya. Uh, meron kang mag-sign up ka lang through Facebook, pwede, or Google Plus, or whatever. Parang yun lang options niya, yung dalawa. So, it's free up to kahit ilang best mong gamitin, pero uh, parang konti lang yung options mo. But anyway, it works for me. Ganon. So, my keyword, yung keyword ko kanina is yoga poses. So, ganito kasi ako magsulat. Uh, and actually, you can. One thing I like about this is, pwede kang magpalit-palit ng colors, which is um, study show na colors stimulate the brain. So kapag nagsusulat ka ng ganyan, uh, tapos makulay, mas mas tatandaan, o oh, di ba? May heart pa, gusto mo lagyan mo pa ng smiley, ganon, yan, ganyan. So mas actually mas mas malandi yung ano mo, mind map mo. Mas, mas, actually, it's, ah, uh, don't you wonder, haven't you wondered why, ang tatandaan natin, pero tayo naa-amaze pa rin sa mga anime, sa mga cartoons, because they're very colorful. That's why you're very amazed. Right? <clears throat> so, ganyan. Ganyan akong magsimula ng pagsusulat. Matrabaho, but in the long run, um, pag nasasanayan nyo, bibilis din kayo. Okay, so yan yung aking ano, meron akong, yung keyword ko is yoga poses. Um, tapos, syempre, kailangan, ano ba yung kailangan pagagawa ka ng article? Syempre, kailangan mo nang to back up your article, meron akong studies and statistics. Tapos, syempre, open mo ng general benefits, gano'n, types, gano'n. Tapos, saka ka mag-eliminate ng hindi mo kailangan kapag tayong nag-draft ka na. Gano'n. Or kahit na yung pag masyado ng maraming ideas, um, pwede ka nang mag-eliminate ng iba. Now, let's go back to our slide. Oh. Few. And then, I am getting good at this. Nice. And then, create a writing guide. Ay, liliitan ko rin pala ulit. <laughs> Cute. Escape. Okay. O, oh, kita nyo, lola nyo, teki, no? Okay. <laughs> okay. So, here's my, when I create a writing guide, why do you need a writing guide? Basically, um, it gives you, ayun nga, ginagayad ko sa writing process mo. Andito yung number of words, andito yung title na kinirate mo. 20 yoga poses for effective weight loss, a detailed guide. Or pwedeng 20, uh, 20 yoga poses for weight loss. Kasi di ba yung kanina? Remember yung keyword? Okay. So, yan. And uh, na-mention ni si Rikit sa SEO webinar niya na yung keyword placement. Remember? Um, as much as possible, ilalagay mo yung keyword mo dun sa pinakamalapit or pinakauna ng title. Kasi meron yung bearing sa SEO. Okay. So, there. Now, what's my writing guide? Pag sa writing guide kasi, nakalagay na dyan yung limitations mo in terms of number of words. In terms of kung anong klaseng post yung gagawin mo. So, sabi, different types of yoga poses. So, pag sinabi different types, more or less, alam mong ang gagawin mo ay list. Di ba? Kasi different types eh. And then, describe each pose. Kalagay dyan kung ano yung dapat mong gawin. Yan. Kung ano yung ano. And then, the first paragraph mentioned the general benefits of yoga poses. Because, paano mo madadraw yung attention? Siyempre, kailangan ibigay mo muna yung benefits na mapapala ng readers mo. Remember, 
readers are self-serving. Wala silang pakialam kung magaling kang sumulat. Ang importante kung ano yung makukuha nila sa'yo. Yun ang, yun ang reality of life. Huwag kayong mag-illusion na, ay, magaling ako magsulat. Eh, walang bearing yung magaling kang magsulat kung hindi naman mahahanap yung ano mo, yung article mo. Alright. Then, transition to the core of the post, listing down the different yoga poses. You can reduce or increase the number of poses as you see fit. The goal is to outline and focus the reader, blah, 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 blah. So, kaya makikita nyo naman to dahil bibigyan mo naman sila ng copy nito, di ba? And then, the most important part of your post, end the post with an invitation to check your website. This is what you call the call to action. The call to action is what, is, is what you write to make the reader do something for you. In this case, I want them to check my website. Okay? So, ang pinaka-goal ko rito is to drive traffic to my website. Okay? So, yan yung paggawa ng simple, simple. Pag, pag if you need help writing, uh, writing guide, let me know. I cannot always answer you all the time, but it will sit in my inbox and in one of these days, I might be able to answer you. I try. Mm -hmm. So, ano nga? Wind view. Okay, full screen tayo ulit. So, nakukuha nyo. Are you finding this webinar um, um, helpful? Yes, no po. Okay. And then you write a draft. Hindi ko na mapakita yung draft kasi mahabang salaysayin yan. But keep in mind that when you write a draft, actually, ito lang yung outline mo. If you feel mo lang siya, na, di ba may outline ka, nag-create ka, uh, nag ka ng mind map. And then yung mga, yung mga, yung in-enter mo doon na types, general benefits, and yung <clears throat> studies and research, ilalagay mo lang dyan muna, di ba may outline ka, lagay mo lang dyan sa draft mo. And then you just write. Just write about nakapag-research ka na dapat before you begin your draft. Uh, a, good, a good thing to follow is, to do is, um, list down your resources. Always, always list down your resources para... Uh, meron kang, meron kang, you'll have something to um, go back to and also to avoid ano, plagiarism, which is very malupet to a writer kapag ka nakasuhan ka ng plagiarism. Mm -hmm. Alright? Masisira ang pangalan mo. So, the reason why you want to, you want to list down your resources is first, you have to cite where you, where your resource or you have to link to your resource para lusot ka sa, ano, sa plagiarism. But still, you have to read the rules for plagiarism of websites. Ha? Kasi hindi lahat pumapayag ng ganun lang na hyperlink lang. Yung iba, meron talaga silang specific, um, specific um, rules on how you can link to their website. Merong, merong pang ka, ano, merong gusto ng um, Chicago style ng pag, uh, ano, or AP style ng pag uh, link to them. So, be very careful about that. Kasi nag-rank, lalo na kapag na, naparank mo yung article or yung blog post or yung page ng client mo, tapos uh, syempre maraming makakabasa, makikita yung ano, yung ginamit mong line doon. Don't, naku, kawawa, kakawawa yung client mo, lalo na pag naiwan mo na. And plus, uh, it's bad. Do not plagiarize. Do not do that. Do not, do not use words. Do not take words that you do not that you did not write as your own. Create your own. Yan. So, ano. And then, of course, you edit what you've written. Okay? And then, pag na-edit mo na siya, make sure na yung, you can use Grammarly for starters, but do not depend on it. Try to uh, improve your editing skills. Okay? And try to improve your grammar skills. Kasi si Google, mahigpit na ngayon, kapag mali-mali yung grammar mo, kawawa yung website mo kasi maapektuhan. Niniscuss yan na si Rikit, di ba, last time? Yes. Sa web niya. Yeah, so it's there. And then, pag na-edit mo na siya, rewrite. Okay? Pag hindi ka pa rin na contento doon sa sinulat mo, napapangitang ka pa rin, gawin mo ulit. Gawin mo ulit, uh, write a draft, edit, and then rewrite. Okay? Kung minsan naman, akala mo ang pangit ng gawa mo, ipabasa mo sa iba. 
kung hindi ka sure sa output mo, pabasa mo sa iba. Tapos, uh, you get their, you get their honest comments and then work on those. Pag nag-comment sa'yo, huwag ka magagalit. Eh, kung mali-mali ka naman talaga, eh, di huwag kang magalit kasi kailangan mong makorek. Kaysa naman, magmukhang, ano, kaysa naman iba yung magkawa sa'yo, eh, di yung kaibigan mo na lang. Tama. Ano. <laughs> Okay. May may nagpupulis may nagpupulis din po sa <laughs> ano na. <laughs> okay, so we have a few questions mommy before we ano. Okay, uh, sige. So from I think this is from Nika. Uh, mm-hmm. may usual outline ka ba na sinusunod mamo? When I create uh kasi kung, kung copywriter ka, you have several formulas. I'm going to share several links to, with you kung saan may magagandang sources ng formulas kasi you have the PAS, you have the AIDA, you have a madaming formula for copywriting. Mm-hmm. So you can, uh, for beginners, you can start using those mm-hmm. sa una. Pero as you, as you, as you, as you get along, ma, ano muna, formulas do not usually work. Okay. Do not always work. Okay. Pero it will give you a good head start. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. so, I'll give you the link later. All right. So, um, saan daw check yung rules ng linking sa website? Paano saan? Come again. Saan check yung rules ng linking? Ah, sa, what do you mean? Ah, tapos what do you mean? Galing. Ano? Uh, ano? Uh, w- 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 wala siyang scene lang chinat niya. <laughs> Paano check yung rules Uh-oh. ng paglilink ah, na doon sa ano sa citation to avoid plagiarism. Yeah, sa cite- yes, um sa sa ano sa terms and agreement ng website. Doon mo check i ano mo siya. Tsaka usually kapag yung talagang mga mga mahigpit na websites, hmm. kapag sa ano nila meron silang box doon, meron silang box na uh, learn how to credit sources from this ano this hmm. website. Okay. Meron silang ganoon, yung malalaking websites. Uh, so, hindi ka, pa, ka pala pwede link ng, ng link, no? Hindi pwede po. Kasi minsan merong, merong, hindi mo mapayag ng hyperlink lang. I see. Okay. Sa, sa citation naman kasi yon Okay. Mm-mm. Okay. Tapos, ro, from Bo, what's the 20% that produces 80% of your results? Ano daw? What's the 80%? What's of? the 20% that produces 80% of your results? Ayoko na ito, may numbers. Taranta ako. Paano? Can you please clarify? Or or or, or are you are you talking about the headline that when uh, you've done your headline, you've already done 80% of your ano? Baka your yun. job is that it? Okay, the 20% of course is the body mm. of your copy. Yan. Kasi pag ang importante diyan pag na-get mo yung attention, i-hold mo na lang yung attention kasi napakahirap kunin ng attention ng reader. Sa dami ng nakalagay sa web ng mga articles and blog posts, di ba? Ganon. And ang ang trabaho natin as SEO copywriters is to make sure na nandun tayo sa page 1 ni Google. Mm-hmm. <laughs> study show kasi, study Pero, show kasi uh, na, na readers do not go past page 3 of Google mm-hmm. kapag nagsisearch. So, kapag ka ang keywords mo ay mahina or mahina yung pagkakasulat mo ng article mo, hindi siya optimized, hindi ka na mababasa. Mm-mm. I think, ano naman, um, it's it's just, uh, it, maybe ano lang siya, mami, uh, kasabihan lang siya na a headline is 80% of the work. But, yeah, parang ganun. It's not li- really literal that. <laughs> Oo, kasi, Ang ano lang doon, ang sinasabi lang, ang ibig sabihin lang noon is may direction ka na. Kasi napakahirap magsulat nang wala kang direction. Para kang trumpo na ikot ng ikot. Bura ka ng bura, delete ka ng delete ng ginagawa mo. Kasi hindi mo alam kung saan mo, saan mo ina-navigate yung article mo. Kung paano mo sisimulan, paano mo gigitnaan, at paano mo tatapusin. Okay. Yun ang ano doon. I see. Okay. Other questions? Um, no. Okay. No, this is not certified. This is just a webinar. <laughs> yung okay. ano, SEO masterclass kung gusto ng certification. Tatandaan ka namin, PM ka namin, Joy. 
Okay, so last question muna before we go. Um, is the is the keyword density for SEO copywriting different from SEO content writing? No, of course not. Still applies. It's still on the web. Mm -mm. Okay. This this SEO copywriting is specifically created for the web. Okay. Because dun sa web lang naman may SEO. Okay. So so um, how much do you charge for SEO copy, Mamo? PM me if you're interested. <laughs> 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 my, email, my email address is libertyabaldovino at yahoo.com or thepianist at gmail.com. Oh, alam yun na. Check din yan. Pero ayan, sige, let's, uh, let's go. Okay. So, my other tips is before you write anything, may keywords ka na. Halimbawa, may keywords ka na. Alam mo na kung nung hahanapin mo. Kasi mahirap mag-research nang wala kang keywords. Para kang, again, para kang trumpong ikot ng ikot. Okay? So, do a lot of research and then note your sources as I've mentioned. Kailangan, kailangan ng research especially kasi uh, you need to find, alam mo yung secret dyan, may secret sauce ako dyan eh, kung bakit mabenta yung ano ko. Because I always include stats and studies. You can get that from Google Scholar. Mm. Doon ka kumuha kasi mas, 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 ano yun eh, talagang pang, ano yun eh, uh, scholarly, uh, writings doon. Tsaka, syempre, doon ka kukuha ng, uh, ng sources mo. Pag stats and studies, doon ka kukuha sa mga not necessarily top, top pages sa Google, but educational or government websites. Mm. Kasi unbiased, unbiased, unbiased yung kanilang data. Doon ka kukuha. Huwag kang mag, huwag kang, it, 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 it doesn't make sense if you link to, halimbawa, ang article na wala naman siyang link sa study or statistics na isa site mo. Mm. Kasi hindi siya credible. Okay. Okay. And if you're going to link as much as possible, na-mention to ni Sirikit before, non-competing website because you do not want to give away your link juice. Yes. Tapos, then, <clears throat> another tip. Ito medyo, may, may, medyo, um, mahi, hindi mo mahirap-hirap, but it will take time. Uh, you acquire the voice of the brand's image. Bakit important ito? And why does this matter to your cli to clients? Kasi, uh, usually sa freelance world, hindi naman talaga uso yung may forever. Di ba? Kapag ka na-pirate ka ng iba, kasi mas malaki yung pay, syempre aalis ka dun sa client mo kahit love mo, di ba? Pag mababa ang pay. So, they need continuation of the voice of their brand. Okay? Kaya pinapa-acquire nila sa yung voice ng brand nila para consistent. Gan ganto yung gantong boses ko ngayon, ba, para akong engineer. Sa, ang boses ng ang brand image ko is halimbawa is uh, ang binibenta namin ay bakal. Halimbawa lang ha. So, uh, syempre ang, ang brand image niyan, somebody who's ano, manly and uh, ang ano niya, tech, yung salita niya, ang pinag-uusapan dyan, yung mga strength ng bakal, ganyan, mga ganyan, di ba? So, maraming tech na terms dyan. Pag-aaralan mo yung jargon for that specific, ano, for that specific niche. Hindi pa pwedeng, hindi pa pwedeng, susulat ka lang na, ano ba, ako susulat ako na, yung, ba, yung sa engineering website na yun, hindi pa pwedeng ako isusulat as Liberty Valdovino. Mm -mm. I will write according to that of my brand's image. Okay. Ganon. Para to ma ito yung tips sa para talagang ano, uh, magtagal kayo sa client and also for your client for your articles to ano um, you can offer it a, a higher rate. Ganon. And then of course, engagement is key. Kaya nga importante yung um, importante yung headline and also the lead. Yung lead sa journalism, yun yung first paragraph ng iyong ng iyong story or ng iyong article. So, dapat very engaging yun. Uh, Magbubuhos ka talaga ng effort to write those two properly. Your title, your, your headline, and your lead. Okay? Always put your reader first. You are writing for your reader, not for yourself. What satisfies you might not, satis might not satisfy your reader. So, um, isuppress mo yung sarili mong opinion. Kailangan laging back by research, back by um, sources yung kung ano man yung isusulat mo, not your opinion. 
Okay, mawalan ka ng credibility. And then, pack it with power. How do you pack it with power? Use power words. I'm going to show you my favorite site for getting, <clears throat> for, ano, um, power words. I have this. I have bookmarked this years ago pa. I don't know lang kung na, parang ina-update din naman. One thing I like about this, ano, this website is, ah, uh, nakaklasify na yung words, yung power words, according to the emotions na you want to, you want your readers to feel. Okay? Power words are very important when you're writing copies. So, greed. Bakit unang-una yung greed? Kasi sa totoo lang, yung greed ang number one na emotion na, ano, nakaka, nakaka-attract ng buyers. Sabihin na lang ating negative, but it's, ano, di ba? Well, katulad ng bargain. Pag nakita mo yung bargain or yung free, o yung extra, huwag mong sabihin sa akin na hindi ka na-attract, basahin yun. When you know na makukuha mo ng free o ng bargain. Di ba? Yan yung ano. Or yan yung mga ano, or nabawa yung luxurious. Alam mo na, kahit mahal, kapag na naisulat mo, di ba? Parang nai-excite kang gamit, uh, basahin kasi, uy, uh, bobongga ako dito. Uh, magmumukha kong mayaman dito. Ganun. <laughs> Alright. Ayan, ganun. So, marami pa yung ibang, you know, curiosity words. And then, you have your, matas, ang maganda, meron siyang mga samples that you can refer to. Okay. Alright. Uh, mm -hmm. Quick question, Mami. Um, kasi, mm. going lang dun sa, sa writing, no? Um, they're asking, do you get to keep your article for your portfolio? Parang, how does that work for you as a writer? Depends, depends, depends. Uh, depends on your, ano, depends on your client. Kasi kapag binigyan ka ng naka-state sa, pag binigyan ka ng, ano, ng non-disclosure mm -mm. na agreement, you cannot. Unless you request your client na if you can, ano, kasi, Ah, uh, if you're not, if you're going to write for your client, um, pwede kang mag, ano, ah, uh, kasi they bought it from you, eh. Mm -mm. So, wala ka talagang right. Mm -mm. Sa non-disclosure, hindi mo talaga siya pwedeng gamitin. Unless, katulad nung sa boss ko, dahil matagal na ako, mm -mm. unless, payagang ka ng boss mo na gamitin, you, mm -mm. then you have to, 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 to submit a letter of intent na, gagamitin mo yon. Mm -mm. Pero ano, pero I mean, in a perspective na nag-a-apply sila, is it something that they have to talk to sa client or parang automatically wala silang byline or parang it has to be clarified pa before they start working together? Um, kasi yung bylines kasi, the bylines, ayan, na, nasa usapan din yan. And make sure na, if you want your bylines, mm -mm. kung nagsisimula ka pa, if you want your own bylines, hindi ka dun sa client na nagpipay, makakakuha niyan. Try to look for yung mga websites na nangangailangan ng, ng writers. Mm -mm. You can write for them and then uh, make sure lang na medyo may traction naman yung website, ha? Mm -mm. Hindi yung susulat ka na tapos ang readers na ng website ay eh, 50 readers lang a month. Walang bearing yung article mo dun. Hindi ka, hindi ka panalo dun, talo ka dun. Mm -mm. Wait a minute. I just can't help. I have to go. Wait. Wait lang. Five okay. minutes. Ba? Hindi ko alam na nanonood siya. O, oh, sabi, hindi ko alam. Nasa baba kasi siya yun. Nandito ako sa taas eh. Iningal ako pag akyat. Iningal ako matanda pag akyat ng hagdan. Huwag ka naman magmadali. <laughs> eh kasi ano, past nine na o. Oh. Naabala ang ating ano, viewers. Yan. Ah, okay. So, ando na tayo sa... Wala na rin namang questions. Okay, go. Okay. So, organize. Organize your thoughts well. Pag ma magagawa mo to pag nagagawa ka ng draft. Um, sa journalism kasi meron yung ordering, sequencing ng events. Mm -hmm. It's very helpful para mag-okay yung flow ng article mo or yung copy mo. And then, use a this is important also. Use a combination of short and long sentences. May, para may rhythm. Hindi yung puro ang ahaba ng mga sentences mo, ang ahaba ng paragraphs mo. Parang ano, parang boring. Mm -hmm. ba? Diba? Pag sobrang daming text, nakaka-boring. Pag sobrang mang-igsi, parang namang ano. 
kulang. Um, Oo, kulang naman. So, create rhythm and make it simple to understand. Remember na ang readers natin ngayon, sad to say, kanina, pag nagre-research ako, natatawa ako, mas mahaba pa yung attention span ng goldfish kesa sa atin. <laughs> Ang attention span ng goldfish fish is 9 seconds. Tayo, 8 seconds lang. <laughs> so, make it simple. Ang mga ano ngayon, di ba yung sa Yoast, if, uh, if you've used Yoast before, or yung, ano, yung uh, Flesher, nakalimutan ko yung pangalan niya. Uh, pinakita ni Yas yung... Oo, uh, ni Yas. Yes, uh-huh. Diba? Kasi pag masyadong mahahaba yung sentences mo, or masyadong mahihirap yung sentences mo, mababa yung readability score mo. Kasi mm-hmm. dapat your articles are readable and understandable by even fifth graders. Yes. Yan, para simple, maintindihan. Mm-hmm. And then write sa copy, sa copy, when you're, writing, when you're doing copywriting, always, always write in a friendly, conversational style. Para kang kaibigan. Mm-hmm. Because people do not usually buy from strangers. Actually, um, they hate strangers. Diba? Pag masyado kang stiff, pag masyado kang formal, ayaw nila yon. Gusto nila yung parang friendly. Ganon. Look at John's emails. Mag-subscribe kayo kung di pa kayo nag-subscribe kay John. I advise you to subscribe to John's emails. And also, Alan Ngo's emails. And Nix's emails. Ganyan, mga ano. Si Altea, hinihintay ko pa mag-email sa akin. Hindi nag-email sa akin yan. Hoy! Ano? Okay. And then, of course, gaya, gaya nga na sinabi ko kanina at pinakita ko, dapat meron kang powerful call to action. Yes. Towards the end. Kasi ito yung magsisil ng deal. Ito yung, ito yung, kumbaga sa ano, ito yung, ito yung, Uh, magsasabi sa client kung ano yung dapat niyang gawin. O ano yung para makuha niya yung benefit na pinapromise mo all throughout the article. Kaya pag may makikita kayo ng want to lose weight right now, click here. Yan. Ganun ang pag ano nun. Okay. So, thank you very much. <laughs> Tapos na po ang ating, ang ating webinar. May questions pa ba? Wala na. Okay. Uh, before we go to the QA, Mamu, there's a Mm-mm. next slide. Mm-mm. Ah, meron ba ba? Mm. Okay. So, I am going to conduct an SEO copywriting masterclass. Okay. So, um, katulad ni si Rikit, si Rikit naman blogging masterclass. SEO copywriting masterclass, if you want to take your SEO copywriting skills to the next level or what's that so if you want to take it to the next level i advise you to attend this master class okay i'll be i'll be doing the teaching personally and i'll be giving you exercises kasi yung pinaka importante sa master class is yung yung exercises and yung critiquing para alam mo kung saan ka nagkakamali and may okay. i correct ka okay yon okay Yes. Okay. So, do you guys have any other questions about um, SEO copywriting or writing in general? Writing in general, guys. While we have liberty here. Oh, mamaya papasok na po ako sa trabaho. <laughs> okay. Um, the master class will be posted. Uh, please follow na lang um, Mamu Liberty on um, the Youthful Granny VA. On yeah, Facebook. tsaka page ko. The uh, Youthful Granny na lang yung page book. Ah, sorry. Yun, yun. So, um, if you haven't liked that, give, please give it a like. And yun, subscribe na. Subscribe, YouTube. <laughs> uh, follow nyo na rin, guys. So, um, ma, mabalitaan nyo agad once uh, i-launch na namin. It's actually October 1st. Seven. First week of October, no? Yes, yeah, so... Mm-mm. Ayun, deadline. Pero yung, ano, hindi pa alam. Kasi, syempre, iaayos pa yun. Sinabi, alam ko sinabi. Wait lang, ah. Mm. Yun. So, so, ah, uh, si Rikit will do. Anong gagawin mo, si Rikit? Vlogging siya. Vlogging, alam ko. So, ayun. So, yun. Yun, 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 yun. 
WordPress blog setup and content creation. So, um, yun ang, yun ang ano ni, um, okay. Yes, we will uh, provide a PDF copy of the slides, guys. Uh, as, also, guys, if you remember having to register for this webinar, you will automatically get the email right after this containing the, the slides. Um, if you don't remember having to register for this webinar, uh, please leave your ano na lang, email addresses on the chat box. So, uh, mamanual namin na isend. Okay. Um, yun, 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 yun. Sorry. So, okay, wala na mga tanong. Charot. Uh, which copywriting style do you prefer? Or do you find more effective? Do uh, you find more effective than others? Sana, copywriting styles, katulad ng TAS or AIDA or ano. Mm. Ron? I think. Is that what? Sino yung nagtanong? Nagtanong si... Nahihilo na ako. <laughs> Gladi. Yan. Ah, so, si Gladi. Uh, so, which copywriting style do you prefer? Or do you find more effective? Find yourself? Kasi as, as, as you get along, hindi mo na rin ma-identify kung ano yung ginagamit mo. Kasi it's a mix. What works? What, what works? Kasi... Mm -hmm. it, it, pag bago ka pa lang, siyempre meron kang formula dapat. Kasi, mm -hmm. as you go along, natatalin na sa isip mo. Hindi mo naman sabihin na, ah, Aida, kailangan kong gawin para dito or ano. Uh, pero usually, talagang ang pinaka-effective, uh, for me ha, pass. Okay? Yung pain, tapos you agitate, and then you solve. Kasi talagang yun naman ang ano nang kailangan i-ano mo muna i-outline mo muna ipamukha mo dun sa reader na meron siyang pain na nararamdaman na nararanasan halimbawa um, halimbawa hirap siyang uh, umintindi ng mga um, umintindi ng software ganon uh, ng engineering software sabihin mo sabihin mo na kunwari na nahirapan siyang magbasa And then you agitate it by by um, writing na bakit ano bakit 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 mahirap ilang tao iparanas mo sa kanya na hindi lang siya ang nahihirapan paintindi mo sa kanya mm -hmm. tapos support mo yun ng facts syempre and then towards the end yung solution mo kaya nga it's called pass yun. It, it's, it, it's the... Yun ang pinaka-preferred ko actually. Pero actually, when I do, it's a mix na eh. Actually, minsan, ano eh. Puro actually yung sinasabi ko, no? <laughs> <laughs> meron ng ano, meron ng automatic, matik na. Okay. Nakapag tinignan mo yung, yung topic, alam mo na kung paano mo siya babanatan. Okay. So, uh, another question. Who are the, uh, who are the SEO copywriters uh, na pinafollow mo? Neil Patel. Siyempre, he's an SEO copywriter. Actually, lahat yung mga SEO writers, yung mga natuturo ng SEO, ay mga bloggers na yung mga top bloggers na Dan, um, um, Dan Rose, ba yun? Sa ano? Tapos, siyempre, ano, um, si Jeff Goins. Mm. Mga SEO copywriters yan. Kaya nga yan mga naglaland sa ano eh. Alam nila kung paano nila uh, susulatin yung kanilang mga pieces. And at the same time, alam nila kung paano i-up sa search engines yung kanilang mga ginawa. Si Sirikit! SEO copywriter din yan. Okay. Mm. Uh, another question. What is the difference ng content marketing versus blogging versus SEO copywriting? Ano? Difference between... Content marketing, blogging, uh, and SEO copywriting. Ah, iba-iba yun. Content marketing, yun yung lahat ng efforts mo. Um, ka, katulad ni, ni Silikit at saka si Nix. Content strategist yan, yan sila eh. Lahat ng content videos, images, lahat written, ano. Uh, gumagawa sila ng strategy kung paano yung website with the goal na i-increase yung rankings ng website, ganyan, ganyan, ganyan. Mm -hmm. So, tapos, ang blogger naman, kapag, ang blogger, kapag marunong ng SEO, para na rin siyang, uh, kasi, ang purpose kasi ng copywriting is 
to, sabi ko nga, is to promote something, to sell something, or convince the reader that he has to do something. Like subscribe to your website, or subscribe to your newsletter. Ganon. Yun yung ano. Kaya kapag nakita nyo merong ganon, na towards the end na please, may CTA, merong call to action, copywriting yun. Mm -mm. Okay. And then SEO copywriting, is it one diniscuss natin ngayon? Mm -mm. Nag nas nasagot ko ba yung tanong or vague pa sa'yo? Kung sino man yung nagtanong. Si, uh, ano tanong si Dia? Ah, okay. Okay. If it's still not clear with you, you can always PM me and I'll try to answer as soon as I can. May questions pa po? Wala na yata, guys. Okay. So, um, I think, thank you again, Mamu, for doing this. Yes. And uh, also, thank you, guys, um, for staying and attending, taking your time to do this. Uh, uh, yung may mga, ano, yung may mga emails, we'll send the, the slides to you. And, ano pa ba? Yes, may recording. Apo. Apo. <laughs> Sabaw na. <laughs> may mga tanong pa ba? Sabaw na ako. Um, yun. Pero, uh, please wait na lang for, for the email app. Uh, siguro in, in a few hours, probably tomorrow, nasisend natin. Um, ah, okay. Yung slides from the previous ones, I'll probably just upload that inside the Facebook group na lang para it's, ano, um, uh, it's available na lang for everybody. So, um, Mamu, Uh, yes. Thank you for doing this. I I wish you good luck doon sa ano, sa iyong master class. Thank you. <laughs> thank you ka diyan, may cookies ako. Ay, yeah. Thank you. Hindi ako nakakalimot. <laughs> Matanda na ka pero hindi ako malilimutin ha. Sabi ko nga, sabi ko nga, kala, kala ko lang naman lulusot eh. Kala ko lang lulusot. Uh, okay. Ah, uh, ayun. So, guys, um if you want to know more about Um, about writing, please don't forget to check out. Antayin nyo lang yung announcement ni Yas and ni, Ma ni Mami Liberty for their master classes. So, okay yun, especially for those na are looking into writing as a skill and as a, as a career. And this actually concludes the, the writing topic for, for September. Siyempre, kasi last day na rin ng September halos. Uh -oh. <laughs> and for October, we will be um, uh, we will be focusing on marketing. So, uh, meron po kami nakaline up na napakagaling ng mga speakers. Ehem, Ginger Arboleda. He's next wow. in April. So, wow. so yun. Um, so, Ginger Arboleda will be uh, focusing on marketing in general and focusing on your clients. Nick Sanyego is a really, really uh, phenomenal uh, mm, wise guy. Wise. Uh, phenomenal uh, marketer, kahit pa ako mabibenta niya. Um, and mm -hmm. lastly, we will also talk about marketing your freelance freelance services on LinkedIn with um, Miss um, Virginia. Virginia. <laughs> okay, so so yon. So guys, uh, it's not just I want you to to consider that marketing is not a skill na ginagawa natin as a virtual assistant or as a freelancer or a task. We actually have to market ourselves as freelancers mm -hmm. because we operate like a business. And this is the reason why uh, very important po sa amin ang branding when we're doing the, yes. the webinar. So, so yun po. Um, so, if you want to know more about that, please uh, uh, follow us on, on, on Facebook. We have a page. And uh, don't forget to leave us a review if you ever find this um, uh, helpful at all. Uh, clap, 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 Miss Liberty. Thank you. Thank you talaga. I cannot thank you enough. Yes, my cookies ka. <laughs> don't worry. And um, um, guys, thank you very much for, ano, for listening. Yes. Uh, hindi po ako makapagpakita sa video kasi I am not presentable. Wala po akong mook up. So, uh, Nakasando lang ako. It's it's how I work. 
<laughs> nakasandong kupas at saka shorts na kupas. Yun po yung ano ko, yun po ang attire ko ngayon. Kaya ano, wag niyo na pong hangaring makita ko. <laughs> Thank you again, TYG. I'll see you soon. Okay. Yes, okay po. Thank you very much po. And I hope, I sincerely hope that you learned from this webinar. And I hope whatever you've learned, uh, you apply. And if you have any questions, you can PM me or you can um, send uh, your inquiries through uh, my, web my website, The Youthful Granny TA. Um, or you can connect with me there. Or you can um, send me an email, shoot me an email at libertyabaldovino.yahoo.com uh, Ang masasagot ko lang po, uh, hanggang ano lang po ha, hanggang 10 lang na people ha, hindi ko po kaya yung more than, more than 10 people. Kasi ano, uh, busy po ang lola. <laughs> Yes, very busy. Right. Ninakaw lang natin siya tonight, guys. Um, <laughs> let's all call this a day or a night. Uh, good night, okay. guys. And before we all go, I just want to remind yourself, remind yourself, remind you, let's all always be kind to one another. But, yes. but very importantly, let's be all kind to ourselves. So thank okay. you. This is PHM signing out. Good night. Good night, everyone. Bye. Mommy, thank you. You're welcome. I love you. Aha, yung bosses ko ubos na yata. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye.